now we learn about load combination so after uh, defining everything after defining uh, different types of load we have to go for load combination actually so to do load, to do load, uh, to uh, create load combination simply we'll go here load and they have two options automatic combination and manual combination so if you want to create automatic combination simply click here automatic combination then go here full automatic combination and select your code from here and already we have discussed that how you will add a load here or load code here actually okay so uh previously have added this load and i will use this one lrfd asc is 716 this code and they have asd okay allowable uh, stent design so this is also known as uh, almost the same as wsg working stent, stent design so i will use this code and when everything is okay simply click here more yes and you will see uh, for which combo it will create load combination if you need more then you can add but this uh, two combo is not available this is for uh, actually ultimate uh, load service and this is for service load service actually a service and this is for accidental so as we didn't didn't provide any accidental load so this will not um, this will not be applicable now they have some option case you can select for which case you want to create load combination let's say as we did not provide uh, earthquake and wind load till now so we can uh, uncheck this earthquake and wind load then uh, go for combination group so if you want to create a uh, different types of group you can create it so i will not create any group this is the load of dead load and uh, if you go live load you will see the live load then if if you go to another wind or anything you will see here so no need to create any group right now sometimes actually uh, we need to create group that uh, all of this load will act as a dead load okay so operator and it will uh, take this load this load or this load okay so click here and it will come here then uh, click here generate okay in this way uh, sorry click uh, click here create a group from this case so this is the way to uh, do it so i will not go for it and if you come here combination you will see everything here and if you need service then you can add otherwise uncheck it then simply click generate and uh, some case will be created so i will not use that i'll close it i'll go for a manual option okay manual combination so this is the way of creating manual combination now for what combination type what is the type actually ultimate load case service load or accidental so i'll go for ultimate condition i'll use that because i will use this option for uh, design purpose analysis and design purpose so i'll go for it now uh, and if you have a different uh, different uh, combination type then you can go for that uh, here now i'll use combination name okay our first combo or you can provide your name let's say uh, 1.4 dead dot okay in this way you can provide your name so that you can uh, see which types of combo it is or for what combo we have created that and the combo number will be 15 because uh, already we have provided 14 types of uh, load case here so it will be 15 now uh, just click okay so when you click okay you will see the name here and from here you have to click it nature so for what you want to go for if you click all you will see all load here so as it is dead load or dead load so i'll click dead load okay this is for dead load and um they have dead load you can select from here as per your requirement sorry click here for all case when it's here okay and then simply click here when you'll see the all of the dead load is available here just simply click apply okay now our the fit number 15 number combination is okay i will close it to show you that is it okay or not so if you come here you will see here this is our combination 115 
okay this is the sorry uh, here here our combination 15 1.4 dead load and our previous total load number of cases of 14 that's why it's i have created a new 1.4 dead load okay now again i'll go here then go for manual combination i'll create new so to create new simply click here new and give its name let's say uh, now on my name will be 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load so from where i am getting that i'm showing you so if you see here as per uh, asc 716 american society of civil engineers code okay and this is the load and resistance factor design lrfd for this code um we are getting this seven combination for lrfd load combination and here's the asc 716 section 2.3.1 and uh, also we are getting this load combination here actually so if you see here you'll get 1.4 dead load 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load plus 0.5 rough live load snow or rain so uh, we are not considering snow or rain we will only consider rough live load and here uh, 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load uh, rough live load plus one times of live load or 0 0.5 times of wind load so this is the load combination we have seven load combination and uh for wind load we know wind load for one wind load application of on wind load or earthquake load will get four combo from the from it how so if i come here we have another slide i will um uh, when we'll go for complete design then i will use that all combo so we have two types of combo First of all, from that seven combo, we'll get twenty-three combo, and for another reason, for uh, the, that um, seven combo, we'll get thirty-one combo. So how? I'm uh, discussing here very uh, shortly because our coming video, I will discuss about it very um, briefly, and also I will apply that in our model. We'll when we'll go for a real project design. Now see here, here you'll see uh, they have option one point four dead dot already. We have done it then 1.2 dead load then 1.6 uh live load floor and on uh, 0.5 live load roof so if you take here this is for our combination two now our in our combo three we have two condition one here as we are not using snow and roof and as uh, if you are using snow or roof then for this combo for this combo you have to create you have to create combo for this three line first so 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 rope live load plus one types of live load then you have to create 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 uh, sonar load plus one point uh, plus 1.6 sorry one types of live load in this way 1.2 dead load 1.6 uh, rain load then one times of live load okay after that again you have to create for wind load in this way you have to create uh, almost for this every terms you have to create separate separate load combination now as i'm using only rope live load here and live load for here and wind load so uh, i have uh, i have uh, divided this combo to multiple five combo how so here if you see here our third combo is 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 uh, live load roof then one times of live load floor as uh, already i have shown you then four for four combo we have for uh, we have wind load so if you come here and you can see it it's 0 0.5 uh, okay and uh, as uh, it is 0 0.5 then you have to use 0 0.5 but uh, for our code it's 0 0.8 that way i have provided head 0 0.8 okay for my case it's 0 0.8 that's why i have provided 0 0.8 so uh it's same 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 uh, live load roof plus 0 0.8 earthquake x minus earthquake x plus earthquake y minus earthquake y so for every lateral load you will get four combination like that okay and for our uh, wind uh, earthquake load earthquake load see here we have applied it ex and e v so what is the ex means e h so if i see you here so for a seismic load 
e here applied it uh, load e okay for e we'll get this combo all again uh sorry yes ev e8 plus ev this es means the horizontal earthquake load and ev means vertical earthquake load okay horizontal seismic load so what is the horizontal seismic load horizontal seismic load is nothing but the earthquake we calculate from equivalent statistic equivalent uh, earthquake load method or uh, seismic uh, sorry or um, time history analysis or uh, in these types of analysis actually okay so from there we get this uh, horizontal seismic load and uh, response spectrum analysis this is this all are different different method of earthquake calculation so that is the horizontal earthquake calculation and another uh, condition for vertical uh, for calculating vertical seismic load um, 0 0.02 dead load this is plus minus so we have to calculate it as per our uh, location and our soil side class okay and a zone factor and soil side class we have to calculate it and uh, also i will show you in our coming video that how we'll do it okay so uh again let's go for our next step i'll come here and only as we are um, uh, just using a simple uh, four column model so i only i will use this for and when uh, and they have another option let's say here we are getting 31 combinations so how we are getting 31 combination because sometime we need to apply 30 percent of uh when we are apply earthquake x then we have to apply 30 percent of earthquake in the diagonal direction okay i mean uh, in perpendicular direction actually when you are apply earthquake in x direction then also you have to calculate additionally uh, 30 percent of earthquake from y direction okay so uh, they have some condition when we'll go for it all, all also i'll discuss about that so uh, till now it's okay now i'll go here uh, so our next combo will be 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load we can provide its name as a live load f here you can see live load f then uh, plus 1.6 uh, its name will be 1.6 uh, okay its name will be sorry it's maybe 0 0.5 0 0.5 row live load i'll check again here it's yes 0 0.5 rope live dot <laughs> 0 0.5 name 0 0.5 rope live lot llr okay so i'll simply click here click okay and now we have to go for it so there have factor definition the factor definition now uh, for second case for second case for dead load how much will use the factor you can use from here so for dead load we'll use 1.2 then for live load we'll use 1.2 six then for wind here all value are available now we'll change it for live load uh we'll use uh 1.2 or dead dot 1.2 live dot 1.6 and row live load it's 0 0.5 so for this time it's absolutely okay i'll click close and now first of all i will select all of our dead load and you can see our dead load is 1.2 automatically it's here our dead load is 1.2 now uh, as it's 1.2 will not change i'll simply press control and select all of our dead load here self weight then dead load floor finish dead load partitional dead load uh, water load okay so for that four load and i'll click here you can see all of our load is available here with factor 1.22 then we'll go for a live load and it will be 
1.6 for this one and for this one it will be 1 0.0.5 select that that's it so here we have uh, applied it load the row play load 0 0.5 live load 1.6 and others dead load this is 1.2 then click apply done okay now again we'll go for new and for combo 3 i'll come here and or for third combo i can directly copy from here the name okay and i'll go to software i'll paste it here and then click okay so you can see here the name so first of all i'll go for dead load and all of our dead load is 1.2 simply uh, i'll click one by pressing ctrl select that four load for dead load 1.2 take it here then we'll go for live load rope so i'll go for live load and from here live load llf will provide uh, sorry llr will provide the rope live load and it will be 1.6 and uh, the another load llf so llf will be one times here i'll provide zero zero then simply click uh, add and click apply that's it so we have done it we have done it perfectly uh for load combination again if you need to create new create combination by using this pattern so i will uh, show you in our coming lecture already have discussed about it okay so i'll click close and if you click here you will see the combination we have already applied it clear so this is the way to create a combination or to create multiple combination for our project perfectly and uh, when we will go for a big project then maybe i'll be able to clear you more things thank you thank you very much